Jess. And I'm her daughter, Corinne. And today we're talking about the birds and the bees. Buzz, buzz. Uh, is it awkward that it's coming from a mother-daughter duo? Because it shouldn't be. Yeah, that's how it should be. Yeah, that's how it should be. Corinne's actually the product of teen parenting, so... Hey, this is actually the kind of setting that these conversations should happen. And I'm like, hey, you know what? I want to show a good example. So parents, you have to talk to your kids about these things. And kids, yes. you got to talk to your parents about these things. Yeah. I get it. It can be embarrassing it can be awkward, awkward. But it's necessary. I was a teen mom. And a big part of that, I don't blame my parents fully. I take responsibility. <laughs> Full, not fully. fully. They never talked to me about these things. That's why I was like, Corinne, you want to just hop on camera and talk about this with me? And she was like... Yeah, yeah. This is actually like a subject that I'm really passionate about because I feel like nowadays, especially growing up, I and probably you too, growing up, all of your friends would talk about it. Now you look back on it, and it's like, what were we even <laughs> saying? Where were we getting our information? It from? wasn't true. It wasn't true. We were misinformed. So misinformed. And a so... lot of it too is because you want to look cool and you want to be cool and you yeah. want to fit in. So you act like you know what you're talking about, but you don't know what you're talking yeah. about. And let me tell you, your friends don't know what they're talking about either, by the way. Yeah. Something really cool that I'm doing that I'm super pumped and proud of to share with you guys is there's going to be a portion on my blog, justislama.com, that is going to be dedicated to sharing my story, having Corinne as a teen mom. And then I've been interviewing young moms from all across the country, and they're sharing their stories with me, and they're sharing with you guys. I wanted to start like a forum, slash hub, slash resource center, slash empower empowering movement where us young people and young parents can help other people going through that. Just being informed so that you, whatever happens in your life, you can make a decision that is best for you. Where you guys can go and you can have a discussion and you can talk to each other and you can ask questions. There's gonna be a page where I link you out to resources. Amaze.org is amazing. Their whole motto is more info, less weird, which I think is the perfect motto to get started with your parents or parents to your kids. And you can just kind of think of it like a support system, really. And I think the great thing about Amaze is too, is that kids don't have to bring it up to their parents. They can kind of just leave their laptop open. <laughs> yeah, they can leave their laptop open. They could be sort of like a hint to their parents if they're too like shy or yeah. afraid that it'll be too awkward. Once they learn more about it, then maybe they could talk to their parents. I think this is a good time to say that this is not just a video about having sex and getting pregnant. Not, not just, just about, about sex. Teen pregnancy. Not just about teen pregnancy. Just, that out just there. saying that again. They also go over bullying, diseases, what a HIV. What a healthy relationship looks like. Gender expression because a lot of people I run into people even in college who don't know about gender expression And they don't know what cisgender is gender fluidity or you know all of the different varying degrees that go with gender and How we express that because everybody's different, you know boy and girl aren't the only things that exist in the world But even with sex ed and health services young people will still get pregnant and that's okay because everybody's path is different but it's still important to know your resources and what'll help you along the way. I firsthand was the product of teen parents. Getting the conversation started will lower your risk of becoming a teen parent. When was the first time that you were talked to about sex? Was it in school? Was it with me? Because I don't remember. I remember that I did learn about it in sixth grade at school because we had sex ed. But class. I think you would talk to me about it prior to that too. But you weren't fully like, okay, so, you know, a baby <laughs> happens when sperm and egg meet. You were just kind of like, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Don't get pregnant. Growing up, my biggest fear has always been like, being a teen mom. <laughs> Just because like learning from you, like I wouldn't want to put myself in that situation because I'm so selfish that I don't think I could raise a child. Even now, I'm I'm 19 and you had a kid when you were my age. I know, I you had, had a, a three year old. three year old when you were my age and I don't know how you did that because I'm so selfish. The first time that I was ever talked to you about sex, I think I was in the eighth grade. So you were in the sixth grade. That's, I feel like that's young, but that's realistic. That's good. Yeah. Kids should know about they sex. They should know. By the time they're 12. Yeah, I agree. It was a video telling us about our anatomy and they split up the boys and the girls. So the girls went to a different class and the boys went to a different class. Oh, but I thought bad. that was backwards. That's bad. Like the boys should be learning about the girls too. Yeah. And the girls should be learning about the boys. It was the 80s. As the years have gone on, we're getting better about sex ed and sex education. Every relationship between like parent and child is different, but usually like they're just afraid to cross that line. It can be awkward and weird. And nobody wants to be judged. I think a lot of parents are like, don't have sex, you shouldn't be having sex. Have them be informed. Teach them about condoms and STDs and how to protect themselves. I don't want to sound too harsh, but I feel like the reality is if you don't know 
a lot about sex and you aren't educated about sex, you shouldn't be having sex. Because I truly feel that it's the responsibility of the parents and schools and teachers. That's why I wanted to make this video with you guys today. And you can use this as a resource, so you can send it to your parents, but you really do have to protect yourself. Literally protect yourself. Because do you know what they say about diseases? That it's like luggage. Because you carry it with you. For life. life. Well, how did you know that? For some of them you carry with you your whole life, but some of them you can get rid of. Exactly, but you wouldn't know which ones you can get rid of yeah. and which ones you carry for life if you don't inform yourself. And it's your right, whether you're a parenting youth or you're pregnant, to think about what it is that you want to do with your career and with your life. And that's why we wanted to arm you guys with some truth and share our story. I do feel like waiting to have a child when you're more mature and you're more ready and you're more stable in life is great, but sometimes, hey, life happens and you get pregnant young. And comprehensive sex education is key in schools and parenting. You didn't even have to stress for me growing up that being a teen mom was ever gonna be a thing. Was ever gonna be a thing, yeah. Because <laughs> I already can imagine how hard it must have been. Like, I can't even imagine the extent. But we didn't have the internet. I mean, we did, but it was not like the internet today. And we did not have the resources we have today. And that's why, again, I'm a link to my blog. I'm a link to maze.org. Regardless, people should know about their bodies, you know? <laughs> because body parts, don't inherently mean sex. You it's know true. what I mean? Our bodies are our bodies. I just think it's an amazing time that we're living in and that you can express yourself and people are accepting of that. Embrace who you are and where you are. That's that's the best thing ever. I'll be just your internet mom. I'll be your internet sister. <laughs> we want you to be healthy. We want you to make healthy, informed decisions. And that's what this video really was about. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my teen, Karini, for having this conversation with me and for being open. I'm like, hey, can we talk about this? And she's like, yeah, I'm actually a huge advocate of it. I'm like, yes. Because I'm super passionate about people she being is. smart about their health. She wants to empower people too. I mean, she doesn't fall far from the apple. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. That's <laughs> what I was trying to say. I'm looking at you. <laughs> so get educated, get informed, get the conversation started. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.